Hello, and welcome to my lab. We're finally in a position to start a real project, and I have just the project in mind. Have you ever been in this situation in which you're eating Skittles, and you just really want one of those red ones, but you reach into the bag, and you pull out just another dirty, terrible, nasty yellow Skittle? In fact, have you ever been in, uh, frustrated by the general unsorted nature of Skittles, looking at a bowl of Skittles, and just thinking, Oh, that just, it's so unorganized, so, so cluttered, just pouring out into the bowl. I mean, they might as well be just pouring out onto the table, just, just everywhere, just getting disgusting, unsorted disorder everywhere. You're just ruining your entire life. Your soul is just unorderly and disorganized. Everything is falling apart. Your world is falling apart. I almost lost my cool there. Um, we're building a Skittle sorter. Problem solved. Okay, so our Skittle sorter here has three main subsystems. The feed bowl, whose job is to take the pile of unsorted Skittles and feed individual ones down into this tube here. In this tube, the Skittles will fall by gravity past the color sensor. The color sensor needs to detect the presence of a Skittle as well as its color. Then that will tell the Skittle diverter which bin to put that in. The Skittle diverter will probably be some sort of servo motor control system, but I have yet to work on that. Today, in this, in this episode, we will focus just on the feed bowl here. So let's get started on that. Our boys are using a web-based application called Onshape to do their design work. This allows you, our faithful viewers, to access our past, current, and in-progress designs by following the link in the description. The feed bowl consists of five parts. The first part is the actual bowl. The bowl holds the skittles, as all good bowls do. At the back of the bowl is the feed wheel. The wheel has teeth that grab the skittles and carry them up to the hole. Currently, the hole goes nowhere, but in the finished product, it will connect to the color sensor. The feed wheel is driven by the gearbox. Our gearbox is based on a design by someone named Mcentric on Thingiverse. That link is also in the description. Thanks, Mcentric. Sorry your parents gave you such an odd name. Our gearbox specialist tweaked the original design by taking it down from three stages to two. It gives us a gearbox ratio of 11 to 1. That way the feed wheel isn't spinning like a runaway teacup ride at the county fair. The final piece of the feed bowl is the pusher. The pusher is a wedge that fits between the teeth of the feed wheel in order to <coughs> convince the skittles to enter the hole. It is designed to push the skittles completely through so as to avoid any unfortunate skittle crushing or cutting. With all these parts to print, it'll take our boys a good week to finish them all. Time to get to work, fellas! All right, here's the feed wheel, the first attempt at it anyway. It'll work something a little bit like this. As it rotates, it simply grabs one Skittle. But right now, there's a couple of problems. The first being that these holes are a little bit small. The Skittles are getting stuck in there. That bit of an issue. Yeah, so I will make these holes a little bit bigger. The uh, other issue we're having, let's see if I can reproduce it, is that other Skittles are able to be held on these posts. So what I'm going to do is make the uh, side ones here a little bit shorter while maintaining that uh, long middle one. And that should help considerably. Okay, let's try this. Let's see, it'll have a backing plate here. Oh yes, that's working a lot better. Alright, so that's good. We'll take that. Don't eat those, those are unsorted. 
right, we're starting to print the bowl here, and it looks like it's going quite nicely. I filled the center cavity here with uh, PLA support so that I wasn't using too much PVA. This fell over, but we don't really care about that. And it is going to take a total two days and six hours to complete from here. So we wait. are. I uh, cleaned up the bowl here and it looks pretty good except uh, a couple of lines across here but that doesn't really hurt the functionality at all. It's the, it still works in here. It came out quite nice. There's even a little bridge here. It uh, worked perfectly. So now um, I'll go ahead and assemble it. I've already got the gears here assembled and uh, pre smoothed to some degree all working quite nice. So let's do this. All right, so it turns out that little hole right there is just a little bit too big for this, or too small for this screw. So I'm gonna drill that out first. And there we go. That's quite nice. Let's test it out. All right. So there's a problem here. I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if we can just zoom in on that. The pusher is pushing too late, and so it simply jams when you get a skittle in there. But the pusher is a really small part, very easy to reprint. So we will reprint that, and then see if it works after that. All right, I've reprinted the pusher here, and here's the old one. You can see that um, the maximum amount of pushing was done right as the hole ended, which caused the skittle to get jammed between the feed wheel and the hole. This one here pushes its maximum extent in the middle of the hole, which allows the skittle to flow up into the hole and not get stuck. So let's go ahead and uh, install this one. 
There we go, that's in there. I've also modified the feed wheel. I uh, noticed I noticed that Skittles were... Let's see if I can replicate this here. Skittles were in some cases hiding or riding up here. I've uh, cut these little nibs off here so that uh, they will tend to fall down instead. So those are the two improvements we're testing now. Let's get some Skittles on. That is working a lot better. There are still a couple of uh, small problems. Oh, now I've made a mess. Oh dear. <clears throat> okay. There are still a couple of problems. I've noticed that um, in the difference between testing the feed wheel in this bowl here and this one, uh, when I'm spinning the wheel, it tends to cause Skittles to ride up this wall so far that they start to interfere with the entire mechanism. Um, and this wasn't the case in this bowl because as I spun the feed wheel there was enough room for Skittles to fall up and over. So in the uh, next uh, print I think I'm going to make this a larger radius here so that uh, there will be room for those Skittles to fall out of the way. And uh, the other modification I will make is to make the hole in, in the actual feeder bowl um, have a little bit of more of an entry to it. I'm going to have, have to cut a little scoop into it uh, because right now it's uh, too, too tight of a hole to fit. It's too small of a target, so to speak. So <clears throat> I think that's pretty good for this proof of concept here. Uh, with a couple of changes, I'm pretty sure it'll work quite nicely, and we'll be able to feed the uh, Skittles in pretty quickly with a, a motor strapped onto the back of this. And make a big mess all over the floor. Alright, and with that, I'm pretty comfortable that the concept has been proven. So, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time when we work on the color sensor. And that's good.